You are so cute. Oh my goodness, I love you too. You are just so precious. I know. Oh my goodness. You're so cute! I know, I love you! Okay, anyway, so to get into our video... What is up guys, and welcome back to my, or I guess I should say our channel since she's on it all the time. In today's video, we are going to be talking about 15 things to keep in mind whenever you are going to be traveling or going on vacation with your dog. So if you are not following us already, and if you did not know, we just got back from her very first vacation. It was our 12th year anniversary trip, and I learned a lot along the way. She's done a couple little road trips with us, and she's always done really good, but this is the first time we ever actually like stayed somewhere else and we're in a car for several, several hours at a time. So I want to share some things that I learned with you guys so that way you can be prepared next time you decide to travel with your pet. First thing that I have on my list is to make sure that the hotel, the Airbnb, wherever it is that you're going to be staying at is pet friendly. So we personally booked an Airbnb and when we initially were looking, there were a couple hundred search results. But then when we filtered it down to something that is pet friendly, there was like four options available. So while this definitely does affect where you're able to stay, if you are going to bring your pet, obviously you have to make sure that the place is going to allow them to be there. Now the second thing to be aware of and keep in mind is that there may be an additional fee or deposit that is involved whenever you are going to be bringing a pet. For us personally, where we stayed at our Airbnb, there was an extra $30 fee per dog per visit that we had to pay separately that was not already included with our initial overall cost. At least from what I've seen, this is pretty common. I think it's pretty understandable. I totally understand. I wouldn't argue it, just deal with it. It's not a lot of extra money. And the best thing is you get to bring your baby. The third thing to keep in mind is before you go into any park, restaurant, venue of any type, ask them what their pet policy is. So when we were on vacation, we actually got to have Larcy's first real restaurant experience. And it was kind of tough because before that, we were just going through drive-throughs because we knew we weren't able to get out of the car and actually sit down inside of a restaurant because we had her with us. And then we found a couple restaurants with outdoor seating, which was really nice. So we asked them if we could just sit out on the patio with our dog and luckily they were totally okay with it. But you have to keep in mind that not every restaurant, not every park, not everywhere you go is going to be pet friendly. The same thing with Hawking Hills. So we hiked at Hawking Hills State Park, which is dog friendly except on the reserves. So we got to go through all the hiking trails, all the spots, except for... A Oh, okay. Are you just inviting yourself up here? All right. Because it is a nature preserve. So we didn't even go see that one at all because if my baby can't come, I'm not going. The fourth thing is make sure whenever you're planning things out that they are going to, again, be dog friendly. Something that you can bring your dog along with. So what's the point of bringing them on vacation if they're just going to be stuck inside wherever you're staying the whole time? So that was one big thing that we really did not want to do. We did not want to make her have to sit in the cabin by herself because we brought her all this way to hang out with us. So the only time that she would have to be in the cabin by herself is if we were in the hot tub, which we actually brought her tie out and we just tied it to a post so that way she could still be outside with us when we were in the hot tub. And just a little bonus tip, it was actually so nice to have that tie out because whenever we were unpacking the car and then packing it back up before we left, it was so nice to just have her on her tie out so that way she could do her own thing, wander around without having to force her to stay in the cabin by herself. She could kind of be involved in everything that we were doing. The fifth thing, which you probably know if you're a dog owner, is always, always, always have poop bags. Please always make sure you clean up after your dog. It is so gross when I see that people don't do that. It drives me nuts. Anywhere that you're going in public, they're going to require you at least want you to do this anyways. So just be courteous to everybody else and make sure you always have poop bags on hand to clean up after your pup. Even if you know their schedule and you know they're probably going to go, there are definitely different times that when we were on our trip where she went that we were not expecting it, probably because it's a completely new scenario for her. She's a little overwhelmed, very overstimulated, 
and luckily we had poop bags with us because it wasn't on her typical poop schedule time and we wouldn't have been prepared for it. The sixth thing to keep in mind is to always have snacks and treats and water on hand. So being in the car for long periods of time can make them really dehydrated and tired. So make sure that you have water to keep them hydrated and snacks so that way they don't go too long without eating and they're not too hungry. Another thing with this is if for some reason, God forbid, they were to get out some way and start running away from you. One really good thing to have is a treat for them to have a reason, a desire to want to come back to you. This is one thing that we're learning in our obedience class training is to get them to chase after you when you start running the opposite way is to have the reward of them coming to you be higher than whatever they were going to plan on doing before that. The seventh thing on my list is to always have towels to dry off their paws. I try to always keep a towel, one of her towels, in my car at all times for this reason because even if we're not planning on getting dirty, she still might get dirty. She's a dog. You have no idea what's going to happen. You don't know if it's going to rain. There's always a chance that they can get dirty and this way you can help your car stay cleaner by having a towel. We also actually have a big car hammock for my entire back seat that we use for her whenever we go traveling which is so nice because she has her own space and she doesn't get any part of the back seat dirty. It's easy to wipe clean. I can throw in the washing machine if I have to. Super nice. Number eight, if you're traveling by car, make sure that they have done a trip in the car before. You don't want their very first car ride to be eight hours long, unless you're picking up your puppy for the first time and you can't help it, that's different. But ideally, you would want to take shorter trips and work your way up to this, just so that way they can get used to it and that way they're not car sick the whole time. The ninth thing on my list, if you feed them on a schedule, which we do, she eats around the exact same time every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, make sure that you plan around their meal times. So just probably like if you had a baby if you're gonna be out doing something you have to be like oh, okay how long am I going to be gone is it gonna be during her lunch time is it gonna be during her dinner time make sure that you're prepared for this and you pack her lunch or whatever meal it is in advance so that way you can keep them on their schedule I think in general keeping her on her same schedule her same routine while on vacation was really helpful to keep her calm and keep her anxiety down because she was already so overstimulated and everything was already so different. At least there were some things that were still consistent and constant in her life. The 10th thing, piggybacking on what I literally just said, keep their night routine, their morning routine, everything if you can the same. So obviously the morning routine was a little bit different, but for the most part, it was basically the same thing she does every morning here and her night routine. We brought all of her normal stuff with her so that everything was the same. She was very familiar with it. We had her toothbrushing time, we had her trick time, we had her brushing time. Everything was normal and in routine with what she does on a day-to-day -day basis. The 11th thing to keep in mind, which I guess I didn't really think about too much until we were actually there. If you were traveling with somebody, like in my instance, I was traveling with my husband, my spouse, just be prepared that you're going to go into a lot of things separately. So again, talking about pet friendly, places. When you're going into the grocery store to pick up food and drinks, even if you're going into the gas station, one of you is always going to be left in the car and the other person has to go in. So this wasn't really a big deal for us because it would just kind of take turns, whoever went into the store, whoever stayed with her, but something just to be prepared for, doing a lot of little things like that separate. Number 12, this might not be the same for everybody, but if you have a big metal crate like we do, we have the big Midwest metal crate. It is wonderful and we love it, but she really big and she really heavy and she's really a pain in the butt to kind of move around. We initially planned on bringing it with us, but it wouldn't even fit in my car. So I ended up literally ordering her a travel crate like two hours before we left on our vacation and we went over, we picked it up, we took it with us, but we didn't really use it because it was still too small for her. I got the biggest size that they had in stock and it ended up returning it. But had we had gone and done some fancy restaurant or done something extravagant where we wanted to leave her at the cabin, it would have been really nice to have that travel crate to bring with us. Just pop up real quick, put her in there, 
and be done with it. The 13th thing to keep in mind is be prepared for several stops, whether it's a food break or a drink break or potty break or she just needs or he just needs to get out of the car and walk around and do something for a second. We probably stopped I think three times on the way there and probably about the same on the way back. Which again was not a huge deal but if you are on a tight time schedule make sure that you plan those little breaks into how much time is actually going to take you to get there. And the 15th thing to keep in mind, my little suggestion for you, if you're going to be traveling with your dog, is to bring some of your own blankets with you to put over the furniture. Especially if you have a dog like ours, we have a golden retriever who um, just can be existing in an area and have fur literally everywhere. In our Airbnb, we were allowed to have pets, but the pet was not allowed on the couch. So we ended up bringing our own blanket just so that way she didn't get her fur on it or anything. We were able to sit on it without having to worry about it getting all fluffed out. It actually worked really, really well. Same thing with the bedding. We did not sleep on any of the bedding that they had had there. I went upstairs, completely took off everything that they had, pillows and all, stored it away, and brought our own whole set of bedding, pillows, blankets, sheets, whatever. And that way, again, same thing. If we got hair on it, I don't care. And then when we were done, I just took everything that I had back home, put their own stuff back on, like nothing happened. So there are 15 things to keep in mind whenever you are going to be traveling with your pet. Just some things to be aware of, some things to make it a little bit easier. I hope that this was helpful. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button. And as always, we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Come here, baby. Come sit by mama. Get your butt up, you. Ooh. Can you sit, please? Oh, good girl. I love you.